A French judge, an investigative judge, has placed the business tycoon, Vincent Bolloré, under formal investigation. Now, he is facing allegations that his company, Group Bolloré, undercharged for work on behalf of presidential candidates in two African nations in return for lucrative infrastructure contracts later on. Now, the billionaire has been questioned for two days by the French fraud police. Bolloré's uh, logistics empire is a powerhouse in former French colonies across West Africa. He's accused of bribing foreign officials and being complicit in corrupt activities in two separate cases, one in Guinea and the other in Togo. Now, the business tycoon so far has denied any wrongdoing. Well, Elena Cassas joins us now live from uh, Paris. So, Elena, this investigation has François Bolloré, the uh, group uh, Bolloré CEO, the head of the international division of Havas, uh, at the time it was a subsidiary of Group Bolloré, as persons of interest. What responsibility do they each bear in this case? Well, Bororé has been charged with fraud using false documents and with uh, encouraging and abetting corruption, uh, the corrupt spending of foreign public money. In this case, of course, the foreign countries referred to are Guinea and Togo. Uh, the head of Havas, Jean-Philippe Don, has been charged also with fraud and forging documents. He's the man who's accused of being in charge of the communications operation under which, allegedly, Havas, the big communications wing of the Vivendi conglomerate, which also owns numerous TV channels, uh, gave free election campaign services, free marketing and communication services, or if not free, at very knockdown prices in other cases, to two presidential candidates in Africa, Alpha Conde in Guinea and for, for Nassing Bay in Togo, both of whom won their respective elections in 2010, uh, with which it's alleged Havas offered them hundreds of thousands of euros of essentially free publicity. And Jean-Philippe Doran, then international head of Havas, is being accused of having masterminded that operation. And of course, uh, the accusation is that that was in exchange for contracts, building contracts for ports in uh, Lomé in Togo and in Conakry in Guinea that were handed out to Bolloré's construction conglomerate once those respective candidates have won their elections. So uh, Bolloré uh, uh, has been charged with corruption, with uh, facilitating the corruption of foreign public money, precisely because because, at least according to, the, to this investigating magistrate, that he was the one who masterminded uh, this uh, tit-for-tat exchange. Indeed. So what kind of punishment could uh, each of these men face under French law if they are presumably found guilty and this case goes to trial? Well, this is, these are fairly serious offences we're talking about. It's quite an extraordinary case. France's 10th richest man is being accused of essentially manipulating, rigging two elections in Africa for his own financial interest, uh, which means that there could be steep fines and indeed prison sentences in this. Bolloré is already suffering some financial consequences. The shares of Vivendi, his conglomerate, tumbled about 10% uh, since the beginning of the week on the French stock exchange since he was first called in for questioning on Monday. Uh, and so certainly the financial consequences for the company will likely be very significant if investors start running away from it in droves, uh, if certainly if this case does go to trial. Indeed. So what, what happens next? Walk us through the, the steps to be followed in the French legal system. Now they're under formal investigation. Then what? Well, it doesn't necessarily mean there will be a trial putting someone under formal investigation, but it makes it very likely. It means that the prosecution have got sufficient evidence that they believe they can charge and that they believe that the case can go to trial. So it wouldn't be unheard of for it to be dropped at this stage, but I think uh, it's now a very high chance that there will be a trial. That doesn't necessarily mean the trial is imminent, of course. They will need to gather evidence before announcing a date for that. Bolloré and his co-accused haven't been um, put a, a, on bail in the sense that their passports have been confiscated and so on. They are being allowed to move freely in the meantime. So the prosecution obviously doesn't believe that they're a flight risk, uh, but they will be gathering evidence. And, and the next stage, of course, will be when we hear when this is going to trial. Indeed. We'll have to leave it there for the time being. Elena Kassassin-Perry, thank you very much.